Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. You know, AI is everywhere we look these days, feels like you can't escape it. But today we're gonna really try and get ahead of the curve. Google's new AI can generate podcast uh, as in like two person conversation with extreme realism. In fact, the starting part that you heard in this video is actually AI generated. This is quite fascinating and there are a couple of different ways to do it. And I'm going to show you the two ways in which you can generate your own AI generated podcast if you have got some text. First of all, this is a sample, like an extended sample. Uh, the sample was actually generated by Victor who works for Hugging Face. So you can hear it. So to kick things off, can you give it a quick rundown on what transformers are in the context of LLMs? Sure, in the simplest term. As you can see here, so there is one speaker in the podcast who introduced everything and said everything and then handing it over to the second speaker. So this is very typical, the podcast format. So how can you do it? There are two ways to create it. One, there is a wait list. So you go to eliminate.google.com slash create, and then you get to create a podcast, especially for archive related links. That is option one. The option two is Google has got something called notebook LM. I mean, I'm not sure whether Google is going to continue or they're going to probably demolish this or kill this at some point. But as long as it is active, what you can do is there is a new audio feature. So you can add any source and you can ask Google to generate a two person conversation, which is a podcast style conversation for this. I think the fundamental technology between these two are literally the same on illuminate. I think currently it is only for archive. Uh, it doesn't let you do other things. And also you've got 20 generations per day and for notebook. I don't know if there is any limit there so we can explore both the options. But the good thing with notebook is you can have different file formats. Let's start with Illuminate. So I'm going to go to Illuminate and I'm going to just go to the home page. And after I go to the home page, you can see the existing papers. So you can pick one of the papers here and uh, let's go ahead with that. So let's go with uh, language models, encode clinical knowledge. I'm going to break down some research. This paper, large language models encode clinical knowledge, explores how well large language models, LLMs, and understand this and is answer medical. This is basically the first speaker. This is a relevant topic, especially on this benchmark. How did benchmark that combines a bunch of different medical. This is the second speaker. Data. So, Some are from as you can see medical. here, there are like two speakers. So, if you were to do it, you go click start generating and you add a topic or a PDF URL. In this case, as you can see, Illuminate currently only is available for archive papers, optimized for computer science topics. So, let's go ahead and then get an archive paper. So I've got L Excel STM. So I'm going to copy that. Come back here. Paste it. I think I have to paste a PDF URL. Let's see if it works. It, it itself generated a PDF URL, I guess. I'm going to click generate. And as you can see here, it is starting to generate. Your audio is being generated. It might take few minutes and then this will be available. Now let's move on to the notebook LM and then let me show you how to do it. First log into notebook LM. So once you log into notebook LM, you would see something like this. And then you can click new notebook. After you click new notebook, you would be asked to add sources. So you have got uh, multiple sources that you can add. One is a Google drive, a link, uh, you know, you can paste some text. So what I did um, at the start of this video is I copied this article from uh, Stephen Fry, which says AI a means to an end or a means to an means to our end. So I've already created that. That is what is being generated here. And as you can see, it is already generated. Let's listen to it before we generate a new one. Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. You know, AI is everywhere we look these days. Feels like you can't escape it. But today we're gonna really try and get ahead of the curve. Look at where this is all headed. Yeah, we're not just skimming the surface here. We're going deep. Exactly. And who better to guide us than, get this, Stephen Fry. As you can see, so the characters understand kind of about Stephen Fry and uh, they discuss. Um, very fascinating. So what we are going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but from scratch. So you have to do upload sources. There are a bunch of things that you can do. You can uh, add a Google drive, a link or a pasted text. So one of the things that you can do is you can copy any link that you have got and then paste it. So I'm going to copy the link here, go back here and paste it. It's going to take a bit of time and insert it. And after you do that first, it is going to take the text and summarize it and then show you. Okay. So it, uh, could read the text, summarized it, and it is saying, do you want to generate uh, a deep dive conversation to host English only? Then you can ask a bunch of questions, like whatever questions that you want. I'm not going to get into it, but you click generate 
and it is saying it is going to take a few minutes but meanwhile you can start asking any questions like for example who wrote this article let's see if uh, that question makes sense to it so who wrote this article uh, is was written by stephen fry and then it can actually add the 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 citation so articles copyright is attributed to stephen fry in 2024 so let's see if there is anything else that we can ask about is there any reference to alan turing let's say is there any reference to alan turing what did he say here um, it was alan turing of course who planted the seeds that led to the dot dot ford conference of 1956 okay yeah stephen fry explains alan turing planted the seeds the Dartford conference was held two years after Turing's death. Fry credits Turing with the help to with helping to inspire the modern field of AI. So you get the point. So one, you can chat with the documents. The second one, you can also turn that into a, a very interesting conversation. So like whatever that you add, uh, people you will get it as it. Like when people talk to each other, and you also get to download it. So for example, I can go here and download it. Increase the play uh, playback. I know for sure it's going to create a lot of content. A lot of people are going to do it. Even I've been thinking like, okay, it is very fascinating to create podcasts between uh, two uh, humanish, realistic speakers, and then they can discuss papers and then we can listen to them. So I think it's it's a very interesting concept and idea. The problem with Google is not a lot of people know this. It is still experimental. And the other one, uh, Illuminate is done. Let's listen to it. still loading now it has generated actually 38 minutes podcast it's still loading it's going to be there for 30 days today we're diving into a paper that explores a new approach to language modeling specifically by extending the long short-term memory lstm architecture the paper xlstm extended long short-term memory introduces exponential gating and novel memory structures to address some of the limitations of traditional lstms let's start with the basics what are the main limitations of LSTMs that the authors are trying to overcome? LSTMs, while powerful, have a few key limitations. Firstly, they struggle to revise storage decisions. So as you can see here, it has done a pretty good job of creating this two-person conversation like a deep dive podcast style. So Lex, uh, Google is coming for you or AI is coming for you. If you, you are not going to watch this video, but Lex, if you happen to see this, probably uh, a lot of AI creators are going to be diving into creating podcasts where you have got two people um, where you have got two people like AI bots discussing a paper. I'm not sure what is the extent of it, how much it is going to hallucinate. I believe that it will hallucinate. But the question is, are we going to listen to it with the same intent, same interest, like we listen to a human being knowing that this is AI generated? I think a lot of questions are there. But for now, this is a beautiful technology to play with. I love the realism. It is mind blowing. And it is also fun to listen to it. So. Let me know in the comment section what you feel. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy prompting.